The Miss Universe Philippines local pageant is becoming increasingly thrilling with each passing day. The recent crowning of Alexi Brooks in Iloilo has added a new dimension to the competition, as she emerges as a potential frontrunner with her captivating beauty. Alexi, a stunning black beauty, brings a breath of fresh air to the pageant, breaking away from conventional norms. Hello community! Welcome back to our channel. On Saturday, January 13th, Alexi May Brooks became Miss Iloilo 2024. The event took place at the West Visayas State University Cultural Center during the Dine Young Festival celebrations. 22-year-old Alexi stood out among 14 other contestants to secure the title. Not only did she claim the crown, but she also left a lasting impression on both the judges and the audience, earning special awards such as the Best in Swimsuit Award and other corporate awards. Upon closer look, Alexi's victory as Miss Iloilo is undeniably remarkable and exceptional. Her success is marked not only by winning several prestigious awards, such as Best Swimsuit, Best Cultural Costume, and various sponsor accolades but also as a transformative moment for Iloilo. Hailing from Leon, Alexi has carved her place in history as the first black and androgynous woman to represent the region. For those seeking a clear perspective on the term androgynous, it refers to a blending of both feminine and masculine qualities, challenging traditional gender norms. In the context of Alexi's representation, her androgynous identity adds a unique and progressive dimension to her reign. It comes as no surprise that Alexi is a distinguished national athlete. In 2022, she garnered recognition as the most valuable player in the UAAP, proudly representing National University. During that remarkable year, she showcased her athletic prowess on an international stage by participating in the Southeast Asian Games held in Vietnam. Alexi's specialization lies in the field of track and field, where her exceptional skills and dedication have earned her accolades and contributed to her stellar athletic career. What endears many to Alexi's story is the nurturing influence of her grandmother throughout her upbringing. In a heartwarming display of gratitude, Alexi shared a touching moment with her Lola Ba Singh, expressing her deep affection with a kiss on the forehead when she clinched the Miss Iloilo crown. Born to a Filipina mother who worked overseas in Lebanon and having never met her father, Alexi found a source of unwavering support and guidance in her grandmother. Alexi is truly a stunning lady and her performance in the Miss Iloilo pageant is very promising. We can even imagine her competing in the Miss Universe stage. However, did you notice something? Please correct me if I am wrong but she has a striking resemblance to Miss Universe 2019 title holder Zozabini Tunzi. What do you think? Some people are all for it and really supportive. Some are even suggesting on why not sending a black woman to represent the Philippines in the Miss Universe 2024 stage. But there are others who think maybe she should change her hairstyle a bit for the Miss Universe Philippines national pageant. Some think that sporting that short hair is sort of copying the style of Zozabini. Although it is much too early but pageant enthusiasts are quick to comment on her style because maybe they are eyeing Alexi to win in the Miss Universe Philippines beauty pageant and she has a very big chance in getting the crown. But some pageant enthusiasts are concerned that people might misconstrue that Alexi is copying Zozabini. They say the Philippines is a strong contender in pageants, and we have our own special style that we show on the Miss Universe stage. Usually, we're the ones being copied, not the other way around. It's important to find a balance between welcoming new things and keeping what makes the Philippines unique. Pia Wurzbach, Michelle D., Catriona Gray and previous Philippine queens did a great job representing our country's values and heritage in Miss Universe. Now, we look forward to how future candidates will continue their legacy. What is your take on this? If Alexi Brooks were to win and gets to represent the Philippines on the Miss Universe stage, does her resemblance to Zozabini Tunzi matter? Could it potentially lead to discussions or controversy among pageant fans? Please share your thoughts. Congratulations to Alexi Brooks, our newest contender from Iloilo. Thank you for watching. Remember to embrace your uniqueness and strive for greatness. This is Shale of Shale Dell Entertainment.